okay so we'll start good afternoon students so uh, we have already started with re2 nfa right we saw what is nfa with epsilon what is nfa with epsilon uh, if there is any state which is moving to some other state on null input okay without reading any input it is just moving from one state to another that is known as nfa with epsilon okay right uh, we have already seen the definition just a second okay fine next okay uh, why we require nfa with epsilon nfa with epsilon for convenience okay we require nfa with epsilon for convenience that is uh, it may so happen that uh, to design dfa is more difficult then to design NFA with epsilon. So we should have the null movement from one state to another state. Okay, we'll see how to draw, given RE, how to draw NFA with epsilon. We'll see first simple examples and then we'll move on to uh, some complex examples. Okay, the first one, uh, just a single A. If I want to just represent a single A, how will I represent using NFA with epsilon? Okay, this is our state. Transits, transition from one state to other state on A. Okay, since there is a single uh, transition, single input, uh, epsilon is not required. If required, we can add it here. Okay, one, uh, one thing you should remember here is that any number of epsilons can be added. It makes no difference. Okay, so any number of epsilon can be added and it will make no difference. So for, for just for single string A, how to draw it? Two states and a transition on A. Okay, you have to name this Q0. Okay, I'll have a start state here, QS, Q0. Then we can have Q1 and then the final state. This is A. Sorry. Okay. So this is QS, Q0, Q1, and uh, I have given Q2. Q, uh, Q2 is missing. I have given name as Q3. Okay, this is for A. Similarly, we, uh, we can also draw for B if there is B, input B. Just instead of A, we can write here B. Okay, that is the first one. Second one will move for AB. Sorry, I'll take a text rather than writing. Okay, next string is AB. How to draw for AB? Right, so this is my, I'll take this as Q0. Q1. Okay, and here, sorry. This is on A. We know how to draw A, right? And we know how to draw B. Okay, so this is B. 
we know how to write a and we know how to write b what is our string our string is a b so it is one after the other left side a and right side b so just join this using epsilon just join this using epsilon this will become your a b is this clear are you getting this this is q3 okay so q3 becomes my final state right and q0 becomes my start state okay is there any doubt in ab students is there any doubt in ab is ab clear how to draw ab is this clear yes okay fine next we'll move on to a or b okay next we'll move on to a or b okay again the same thing we know how to draw a okay we know this is a okay we know how to write b q i'll i'll, re uh, I'll rename it later then this will be b okay so we have drawn a we have drawn b right now we have to see how to draw or or means what either a or b it is just a that is you have to start from the start state and reach the final state only on a or start from the start state and reach the final state on b right so uh, in this if you read from the start to final you should read a b right a epsilon b is a b i hope you agree with me right a epsilon b is a b so if i start from the start state and reach the final state i should read a b right uh, what about a or b when i start from the start state and reach the final state i should read only a or i should read only b right so how to draw this we have to connect this so it is you have to connect it this way okay it is this way this is your start state what is the meaning of this it will take either this path or this path and reach the final state still we don't have final state right so we can have a final state here okay i'll name it as qf this will be our final state okay it uh, the transition starts from the start state and reaches the final state reading either only a or only b and all rest a jo bhi hai it becomes epsilon all this becomes epsilon okay so i'll now name it qs q0 q1 q2 uh the naming should be in the same order it need not be this in the same order you can have anything you can even write a b c d e f okay or 1 2 3 4 also there is no need that it should have the same order and same naming uh namings okay you can have any uh, is this clear is this clear a or b is clear students is a or b clear everyone 
is a or b clear any doubt in a or b c with this basics we'll be building the complex nfa with epsilon okay so just if you have any doubt let me know if you have any doubt let me know See what we have done here, what we have done here, see, we have drawn A. We know how to draw A, right? Q0 se Q1 hamne pehle draw kiya, right? Q2 se Q3 B. We know how to draw B, right? We have seen. This is how we draw just A. If I put a B here, that becomes B, right? So we know how to draw A and we know how to draw B. So we have drawn this. What is the meaning of A or B and what is the meaning of AB? AB means b should be a a should be followed by b right a should be followed by b meaning when i start from the start state and reach the final state i should read a b so if i start from the start state and reach the final state if you see a epsilon b that is a epsilon b is a b okay i hope this is clear Coming to A or B, what is the meaning of A or B? When I start from the start state and reach the final state, I should read only A or I should read only B, right? So I cannot keep it side by side. Jaise humne yahan pe rakha. So instead of that, what we do? We take two different paths. We take two different paths. One is A and another is B. Right? So what we can do? So we can make it parallel so what we do we place it parallelly one here and the other one here okay so if you see now start from the start state and reach the final state one path is this and another path is this if i take this path i can read a if i take this i can uh, read b is this clear is this clear? In A or B, Q1 and Q3 can also be final states. Uh, in just a minute. Q1 and Q3 can be final state. Yes, Preeti, it can be final state. But instead of taking two final state, we usually take one final state. Okay, so that it becomes easy for us for the next step. This is not the only step, right? If you remember, we have this, all these steps, right? We have to reach till here, minimize DFA. To reach this, this is the intermediate step. This step we are uh, doing today, this regular expression to NFA with epsilon, right? Okay, so we have to, next, we have to do all these steps. We have to cover all these steps. For these steps, we, we are drawing NFA with epsilon. Okay, so for that, to make it easier, we'll have single final state rather than two final states. Okay, even if you make Q1 and Q3 final state, no issues, it is right. It is not wrong. Is epsilon mandatory between AB? It is not mandatory. Sort of it is not mandatory. You can have, uh, you, you may not have epsilon, but once you understand it once you practice it you can eliminate it but for now for the beginning for the beginners you should attach two things with an epsilon okay a is one b is another and we are attaching it using epsilon here even here a b attach with epsilon okay any other doubt students any other doubts? Is this clear? Any other doubt? Okay, fine. Okay, so we have done with A, we have done with AB, and we have done with A or B. Okay, next. Next, we'll move on to A star, sorry, 
a star. How to draw a star? Okay. We know again how to draw a, right? Okay. So I'll do that first. Okay, so this is A. I need to repeat this again and again, right? We need to repeat this again and again. Star matlab, repetitions of A, right? So to repeat this, what we'll do, what to repeat this, what we'll do, we'll repeat this. Okay, we'll make this a cycle. And now if you see, I cannot have an A here, right? It should be just single A. If I have put another A here, then A, 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 A will be like this. I should have single A. So here what we'll have, we'll have epsilon. Okay. Here we are repeating this cycle again and again. To repeat this cycle, not only we have from Q0 to Q1, we also have from Q1 to Q0. Okay, so is there anything that you observe here? Uh, that is there any string that is not generated from this? If I make this start and if I make this final, is there any string that cannot be generated by this diagram, which is included in A star? Is there? Yes, yes, Saru, Preeti, Yash, very good. It is epsilon. We cannot generate epsilon. How to generate a string, start from the start state and reach the final state. If you see, you cannot reach the final state, right? You cannot reach the final state, right? On epsilon. So we cannot generate epsilon. Single A, yes, I can generate, right? If I want to generate double A, just go to A, Q0 to Q1, go back to Q0 on epsilon and two A's. If I want three A's again, four A, five A, six A and so on. But the first element null string that is epsilon cannot be generated by this exam, uh, by this diagram. So what has to be done? So what has to be done? So what we'll do? So what we have to do, we have to take another state here and another state here and transit from this state to this state, okay, on epsilon and connect all this rest of the things on epsilon. Okay, you have to remember these diagrams. All these diagrams will help you in drawing the complex diagrams all these simple diagrams will help you okay so this is final state now now can we have epsilon more yes we can have start from start state that is i'll write it here qs and this is qf Okay, so now start from the start state and reach the final state. I can start from the start state and reach the final state on epsilon. So epsilon is generated. If I want single A, QS to Q0, Q0 to Q1, and then to QF, I got uh, single A. If I want 2A, QS to Q0, Q0 to Q1, go back to Q0, and then Q1 again, I'll get 2A and reach the final state. Okay, so this is the diagram for A star. Is this clear? Any doubt in this? Any doubt in this? Students? Clear? Okay. If you have any doubt, let me know. Okay. Okay, next. If I want to draw a B star. 
if I want a b star, what will be our diagram now? What will be our diagram? We know how to draw a b. We know how to draw a b, right? We know how to make a star, right? Now what we can do? Take this a b, ye wala diagram, and place it here in between these two. So that becomes a b, right? And this whole star. This A instead of this A will keep A B. Okay, so instead of this A, we'll keep this A B. Yahan pe. Okay, and keep this other things as it is. So it becomes A B star. Right? We'll try that. Okay, so first I'll draw A B. Okay. Okay, as uh, Saurav said, I'll just eliminate the uh, in between uh, epsilon. I have a b now. Okay, take this a b. Okay, take this a b and keep it here. Okay, so matlab, if I keep it here, I have to connect q one to q zero. I have to connect this to this. End wala to start wala, right? Connect the last one to the first one. Connect last one to the first one. After that, I have to place two circles, start and final. Okay, so we'll, sorry for this. Okay, this key, uh, two circle, connect the last circle. The first circle to the last one, you have to draw this properly with the proper arrows. The direction should be proper. You cannot draw from end to start or here you cannot draw from this to this. Okay. The arrows should be marked properly. Okay. So this is how you have to complete it. Okay. So wherever there is no input, you will have epsilon. Okay. And this will be your start state. And this will be your final state. And you can name it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2 or something like that. I'm naming it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Five. Students, is A B whole star clear? A B whole star. Any doubt in A B whole star? Is there any doubt in A B whole star? Clear with this? Okay. Then next we'll take A or B whole star. A or B whole star. So again the same thing, right? We know how to draw A or B. We know how to draw A or B. A or B. We know how to draw A or B. Take this complete diagram and place it instead of A. Take this complete diagram and place it here, here. Okay, so what do you mean by that? This Q0, Q1 is this Q0, Q1. QS, QF, jo hai, wo Q0, Q1. Hai. Ye pura diagram leke yahan pe rakho. Okay, matlab yahan se yahan connect karo. Do circle aur banao aur usko start se end connect karo. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Okay. First, what we'll do? We'll draw A or B.
this is a this is b right and then we'll have uh, epsilon all over others epsilon 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 okay so this is my a or b right now what has to be done one two sorry just i'll name it as one two three four five six okay students now tell me what changes i have to make in this to make it a or b whole start what are the transitions or what are the arrows i should connect to make it a or b whole start quickly put it in the chat what are the arrows i have to add to make this a or b whole start six to one yes very good so this becomes my a plus do you agree with me students this becomes a plus right sorry a or b whole plus right this becomes a or b whole plus now i want to make it a or b start so what has to be done what is the next step six to one ho gaya done what is the next step next step what will be our next step to make it a this becomes a or b plus students a or b plus diagram agar pucha hai so this becomes a or b plus okay add two more states yes preeti where to add where should i add two more states add epsilon yes i'm sorry for that i did not add epsilon here yes ishani fine start and final states yes very good so i have to add two more states one at the start right and one at the end okay so now i'll uh, name this as s and this as f okay you have to write it as q s q1 q2 q3 okay but uh, i haven't done that you people while uh, naming it name it properly okay now what are the transitions that has to be added tell me now i have drawn two circles right s to f yes right s to f on e very good so it is s to f on e right okay then s to 1 yes says s to 1 and 6 to f okay so it is s to 1 and 6 to f yes fine what are the things remaining students what are the other things remaining i want to complete this what are the other things remaining e okay i'll add epsilons wherever remaining right i'll add e marking start and final state very good priti yes marking start and final state 
I have to mark the final state, right? And I have to mark the start state as well. Okay. I hope this is clear. Is there any doubt in A or B whole star? Is there anything else remaining? I hope no. Okay. Is A or B whole star clear? A or B whole star. Is this clear? Any doubt in this? Any doubt in any of this? Any doubt in any of this? See what all we have done. We have done A. Right? How to draw A. We have seen how to connect to. Connect to with an epsilon. A, B. Then we have seen A or B. Since it is or, we have parallel, right? Parallel paths for one for A and one for B. We have seen how to draw A star, right? A star. If I want to make this A plus, then what difference I should make here? Students, if I want to make this diagram A star to A plus, what, what should, how I should draw that? Remove E. Konsawala E. There are so many e epsilons. Which epsilon should be removed? Which path I should remove to make this A plus? This is A star. Yes. Right, pretty. So we have to remove this path. QS to QF. Johe, we have to remove this. Yes, Ishani. Right. Very good. This is clear. Okay. So this is about A star. Then we saw A, B star. What did we do? Instead of this A, we kept this A, B. We placed this A, B instead of A. And the remaining as it is. Okay. Again, the same thing. A or B whole star. Instead of A star, this A. We, what did we place? We placed A or B. So we got A or B whole star. Okay, whenever there is star, you should remember there are two important arrows. One from end to start and one from start to end. And end to start is inside start to end. You have to remember this. Don't make it this uh, path here and this path here. Okay, it goes completely wrong. Is this clear, students? Any doubt in this till here? Any doubt till here? Okay, on this basis, we'll move on to the next step. Is this clear? Everyone? All 75 students, no doubt. Very good. I hope... Uh, all 75 is listening. Okay, fine. So we'll move on to the next one. We'll just see what I have put in the slide first. Okay. See, so we have seen how to write AB. If you see, see this AB. Okay, you can put either epsilon in between or you can just remove it. Okay, next A or B, A or B. Okay, the, that is parallel path. Okay, then A star. If you see uh, this one, right, and a path from start to final. Okay, next. Okay, we'll draw this A or B whole star A. A or B whole star A. Okay. We know how to draw A or B whole star. Right. We know how to draw A or B whole star. This is my A or B whole star. I know how to draw A. This is my A. So what will be my A or B whole star A? Take this. Right. Take this. Take this. Okay. And keep it as A, B. Keep it as A, B. Hai na? To ye ho gaya mera A or B star. Iske aage agar mein likhungi A, then it becomes 
A or B whole star A. Right? Will you people try this? Can you try this, students? Shall I give you the pad, uh, Padlet link? Can you upload it? Students, do you want me to draw this or you will try this? I want, I'm waiting for your answer. Students, I'm waiting for your answer. If we go in this phase, I'll not finish half of my syllabus. I want quick answers from you people. 